In this video, we'll be taking a look at the problem set for division with trailing zeros, the problem type number two. So a little bit different if you just watch problem type number one. Uh, we are still doing division, and in this case, both numbers actually have some trailing zeros. So we've got 18,000 divided by 600. One of the things that's nice about a problem like this is before we actually start trying to find the solution, it's nice if we can simplify the problem right off the bat. And whenever we're doing division, we can if something special happens, and that is these trailing zeros in both numbers, the one that we're dividing by and the one that we're dividing into. So both the 1800 and, I'm sorry, the 18,000 and the 600 both have those trailing zeros. So what that means is we can kind of cancel them out. Uh, I've got a trailing zero here and a trailing zero there. Those two can cancel. And I've got another trailing zero here and another trailing zero here. Now this canceling only works for trailing zeros. Does have to be zeros that we're canceling out here. But now that we've done that, we, can, we actually have a simpler problem to solve. I'm going to rewrite this as 180 divided by 6. And we like smaller numbers because they're easier to work with. And now that I've simplified the problem before we even got started, I can now rewrite the problem for long division. 6 into 180. Okay, so if you've probably watched some of the earlier videos, 6 into 180, we're going to start with that leftmost digit, the 1, and we ask ourselves, does 6 go into 1? And in this case, 1's not big enough. 6 does not go into 1. So I expand it to the next digit. So now I'm looking at the entire 18. And I ask myself, does 6 go into 18? And yes, 6 goes into 18 three times. Notice I put my 3 above the 8. You know, I'm dealing with the 18 now. So now we want to take that number at the top, the 3, and the 6 that is out in front, multiply those two. 3 times the 6 gives me 18. And I'm going to write that right below the number that I was just working with. Kind of coincidentally, it was 18 as well. It worked out nice and even. So when I subtract those two, 18 minus 18, I get 0. But we're not finished yet because there's one more digit out there. I've got to bring that other zero down. And i got to start off with that new problem that says 6 goes into 0. How many times? Well, 6 goes into 0, 0 times. Again, I'm lined up nicely on that right-hand side. This is 0 at the top times the 6 out in front. 0 times 6 is 0. And when I subtract once again, 0 minus 0 gives me 0. So I've used all the digits that I had in 180. It worked out even. I don't have a remainder. So that 3 and the 0 that I have at the top, the 30, that is my solution. So even though we started off with a problem that said 18,000 divided by 600, we turned it into a problem that's 180 divided by 6 because it's a simpler version of the previous problem. And after doing the long division, our answer is 30.